In this video, I'll show you how to add a paywall to sell your YouTube videos. Let's get straight into it. Before we go any further, what exactly is a paywall? In the simplest terms, a paywall is a method in which you restrict access to your content, in this case, your YouTube videos, to only paying members or subscribers, right? So essentially, the viewer has to pay before they get access to that particular video in our case, right? Right, so with that out of the way, and to do so, we need to host our YouTube videos off the YouTube platform, right? So essentially, we're just going to create a website and then we're going to create a simple paywall setup to restrict access to those YouTube videos. So when it comes to our video hosting, we've got two methods. So we can one, host it on our website or we can host it on YouTube. But instead of making a video public, we can list it as unlisted and then we'll add that YouTube link onto our website behind a paywall. So let's quickly have a look at how you can set up a paywall on your WordPress website, right? So if you have no idea how to create a website, I'll leave a link on screen showing you how to create a website. All you need is a domain and a host and WordPress, which is free, and then you're good to go. So assuming you've got both those out of the way, we just need to create our website, right? So this is a website here. Let's imagine my YouTube channel was about teaching viewers how to play a guitar, right? So we've got loads of free content on YouTube, right? And a strong call to action on my part would probably be like to get the PDF of the notes in which we've just played. Click the link in the description below and then that will take him over to our website here. And then maybe we'll have this downloadable section, right? Which has got loads of different PDF or even extra content. Right. And to get access to this, maybe they need to just enter in their email address to sign up to our newsletter to get access to it. Right. And then once we've got them on our newsletter, then we can keep providing more value to them. Right. More tips and tricks on how to play the guitar. And then throughout those emails as well, we can basically hint to the fact that we've got more in depth tutorials and teaching them how to play a guitar, which is where they actually need to pay us to be able to view those exclusive content. How exactly do you set up this page? wall thing right so, so first as i said we need wordpress which is a free platform and we'll also need the aov up memberships plugin so i'll leave a link on screen and in the description below to this particular plugin let's head over to our dashboard and i'll show you how you can set up a quick paywall right so let's navigate back over to our dashboard so we need to upload the aov up memberships plugin so we go plugins and then add new upload and install the AOV up memberships plugin. We'll also install WooCommerce. And the reason we want to add WooCommerce is this will allow us to add various different payment methods to our website. So our customers can pay for our content in different ways, right? Okay, so let's quickly create a membership plan. So it's up to you. You can allow users to pay a fixed fee, right? So a one-time fee to access specific content, or they can pay us on a subscription basis like Netflix, right? So we can say just pay us um, at 999 a month and you get access to all these behind the scenes or exclusive content that you won't find on YouTube, which is a great value add to that particular viewer, right? Okay, so let's create our membership plan. So we'll head over to AOV up and then we'll go memberships and then we'll go plans and then we'll just create a plan, right? So we we'll just click create plan. And then here we can name our plan. So we can say super subscriber, right? And to get access to this particular plan, they need to purchase a particular subscription product. So here where it says grant access upon, we'll select products. And then we need to quickly create that product, right? So we're going to navigate over to products and then add new. And then here we'll say supporter and then the price. Well, we'll switch this to a simple subscription and then the price will be nine 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 right every month okay i'm happy with this so let's hit publish okay and then let's head back over to this page where we're creating our plan now we'll search for that supporter product and then here we get to choose which pages on our website we want to restrict access to so we can say if they purchase our supporter plan then we'll give them access to the page that we've created with the downloadables right OK, we can offer them exclusive discounts and so on, but it's not really relevant for this video. So we're just going to hit publish. OK, and now when we try to view this downloadables page as a non member, here we've got our paywall. So it's saying to access this page, you must purchase our supporter plan. So let's edit this page and let's add our YouTube videos. Right. So as I said, we can upload it directly. So, for example, I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to press this plus icon. 
so we can search for video okay and then we can directly upload our videos right that we would have put on youtube otherwise directly onto our website here right okay so that's method one or we can insert the unlisted youtube link onto this page here so let's do that now so let's head over to youtube okay so i've already got this unlisted video here so i'm just going to copy this url all right so i'll copy this url to my clipboard and now let's head back over to the page now let's paste the url here okay and here we can see our unlisted video right so we can organize this however you want so let's just save this so we can organize this in a few different ways so this is just a quick example of how you can just add it to a single page and then basically just keep adding your list of videos on that page right if you wanted to structure it in a more course format then we can do so so if we head over to course um, we can add it in a more course style but again this might not make sense so you might just want it as a timeline update format right so in that case as well let's say for example you're releasing videos daily we can just add a new blog post daily right and then just add that unlisted video to the blog post but then just make sure we protect the blog post right so for example so let's create a new page and we'll just say call this page blog click add new and then we'll go browse Okay, and then we'll add this post list onto this page. All right, we'll just select standard. And then here where it says content restriction, we'll add a new rule. And then we'll say viewers need to be a member of our super subscriber plan to be able to access this page, right? So let's hit update. Okay, and now let's view this page. Okay, and currently we've got one blog post. So to add a new blog post, we'll just click add new and then post. And then here we can add our post so we can say January video. OK, so again, you just name this accordingly. And then here we can paste in our video and then just hit publish. We can categorize it as well. So if we wanted to segment our videos into different categories where it says categories here, we can just add a new category and then just categorize it accordingly. All right. Then we can just hit publish. OK, so now when we refresh this page, we should be able to see that new post in which we just created. All right, so if we view this page as a logged out user, he can see it's prompting us to purchase this supporter plan membership, right? For us to have access to that particular page where we can see all the list of latest videos that we've got on our website, right? So let's do a quick change. So instead of saying blog, we'll just say vlog, right? Let's say exclusive content. Sounds more premium, right? And then just update. And then we can view the different exclusive content. So you've got a few options. You can categorize it so you can use a course format, right? Where you're structuring everything, or you can use this timeline style, right? So it's totally up to you. So another thing to note, instead of just limiting access to certain pages on your website, you can limit access to the entire website, right? So for anyone to access the website, they need to be a paying member. So that's another method to use. 